What is going on EU4 strategy gamers? Today we have a very simple strategy to get the powerful horde government on any Italian tag, but preferably ones that don't have the Shadow Kingdom event like Naples. Uh, there are a couple other cases, like I was going to originally attack Savoy, uh, and ways that you could attack uh, Italian tags to make them into tribal governments, like I showed with Saluzzo. But this is a really easy way to do it. It doesn't require crazy amounts of saves coming, uh, like my Tafalalt video shows, to reach Saluzzo. But anyway, I hope you like this video, and if you like it, please subscribe. So we start out as uh, Crimea. We get military access with Eastern European tags like Hungary, um, Poland, uh, Austria, Central Europe, um, Venice, and then we get military access and we make an alliance with the Ottomans. So then we attack Epirus and we core Kefalonia, which was very easy to take from them once we siege down Epirus. So once we do that, we have colonial range to core basically any tag in the middle of the Mediterranean, uh, namely the Italian ones. So what I did uh, after that was get maps with the Ottomans, and the Ottomans gave me maps of Austria and then Italy, uh, like southern Germany and Italy. So then I got uh, military access, uh, a little bit more just in Italy as needed. Some of it was conditional, and I declared war on Naples. Originally, I was going to attack Savoy using Naples and just 100% war score them and full annex Savoy using the Naples piece because Naples, you know, has a really strong mission, Savoy Yard, Sardinia Piedmont, and you can release them. Originally, I wanted to do this with Florence, but um, Savoy is a really nice tag, right? Um, Genoese trade node, um, it's just really strong. So, that kind of paled when I realized that Naples is a really cool tag uh, in the Genoese trade node, and um, it basically gets released from Aragon, doesn't have many allies, doesn't have Aragon as an ally, not the Ottomans, not really Eastern European tags, and it rivals the papacy. So I basically use the Ottomans to uh, gradually just uh, siege down all of the Savoyard uh, forts, and then I waited uh, until the Ottomans kind of came, and even though the Ottomans want Naples, it worked out perfectly fine because I would get the war score I needed and just take every single province in Naples and get 106 aggressive expansion, which is normally very scary. But I'm going to ditch Crimea and just become Naples, and then I'm going to truce break Naples, right? So, or Crimea. So once I truce break Crimea and declare independence, I don't really have to worry because I'm just getting aggressive expansion. Uh, for truce breaking with the Muslim religion group. Uh, the Christians don't really care, right? And um, once I did this, uh, I got a 634 ruler when I uh, released them. But before releasing Naples, I have to conquer all of Naples. Naples requires more than 100% war score to fully annex. So I truce broke them as Crimea, and I simply... Um, siege them down, and then the Savoyards would not leave the war. My solution, um, I gave back Naples some of the provinces and an offer tribute, but it didn't matter because then by getting them out of the war, I get 99% war score, right? And then I annex those provinces I quote unquote lost, and then I just um, annex Naples. And once I release Naples, like I said, truce break. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, so it worked out perfectly to get a tribal uh, reform into Horde Naples that can dominate the end node of Genoa and colonize and take over the world. So I hope you really like this video and I hope it taught you another way to get the powerful Horde government in EU4.